Bluetooth calling was really important to me. I'm, I uh, drive a lot for, for my job. I'm in the car. Um, and I have a lot of calls to that'll come in, or I'm on conference calls that I don't necessarily need to participate in, but I want to listen to. And sometimes I need to even talk on them. So anyway, Bluetooth calling on the stereo is excellent. I mentioned earlier the Bluetooth hands-free profile 1.6, which this stereo has, um, really makes a big difference, and I recommend it highly. Um, all my calls are very clear from what people tell me. Um, you know, the only tip I would probably say is, uh, you know, you can't crank the volume super loud or else you're probably going to get an echo. Um, the stereo does a great job of, of muting your microphone when you're not talking, um, but it can only do so much. So I find I could have the volume up at a very reasonable level and still hear the people on the other end and they could hear me and we don't get any kind of echo. If you're going to crank it all the way as high as it'll go. Um, they're probably going to complain. Okay, so with that said, um, it doesn't matter what s mode you're in or what source you're on to use your phone at any time, um, which is great. So if you're on auxiliary, you're on Bluetooth, you're on USB, if you get a phone call come in, it's going to ring, which is great. So right now I'm on Bluetooth. Um, my phone is here. I have a pretty cool setup if anybody um, is interested in this sort of thing. Um, I use a magnet mount. Um, there's a lot of them on the market. This one's made by Scosche, S-C-O-S-C-H-E, I think. Got it on Amazon. That's just the magnet itself. And then the mount is uh, specific to my car, the Camry, but they make them for pretty much every car. Um, you could get those at um, two companies make them. One is called Profit, P-R-O-F-I-T, International. Search for their website or Panavice and you could search by your make and model year of car and pretty awesome very clean look so between that mount and the magnet um, I could uh, just put my phone right there and uh, it's it's really awesome so anyway um, as far as buttons on the stereo that are important for calling you got the main button right here if you get an incoming call you could hit the phone button to answer it. You could also hit a button on your steering wheel if you have steering wheel controls hooked up. Um, that'll answer the call. Same button to end the call. Um, one button, I forget which, I think it might be band, will automatically transition your call from the stereo to your phone, say if you wanted to be able to talk directly on your phone for privacy or, or whatever. Um, so that's about it. I'll just show you real quick. Um, in the settings, you could change how your stereo flashes, whether or not you hear the ring coming through your stereo, that sort of thing. So I am going to make a quick call. And I'll just cover up my phone number so you don't see it. So, phone's ringing. I could go ahead and answer it. I could hit either the, the... Well, as you can see, I got a feedback loop from my phone. Having it in the same... I have a cordless phone in here. Um, but that's how what it looks like if a call comes in. You could see the caller ID on your screen. To make a call from here, there's a number of ways you could make it. You could go in here, hit your phone, and go into, you know, like, your calls, dialed calls, all that. And, and you could dial just by... Um, going into it depending on what you have in your history you could get into your phone book and see all your listings um, but honestly I end up using Siri since I have an iPhone and the stereo has what's called Siri eyes free functionality it's just a little bit deeper integration into Siri um, Android phones might have something for voice dialing as well I'm not sure um, but basically all you have to do to access Siri is press and hit hold in the master control button for a couple of seconds until it kicks back at you and then you could tell it what you want it to do but you could use Siri for anything you normally could and you could do it through your stereo so you could tell it to call a number a person um, send a text message send an email and you could dictate right to it but I'll just use it to make a call real quick so I'm gonna hold that down call Chris Antonelli work 
calling Chris Antonelli. Work. So then it just jumps right into the call, and and it, it's calling my work number. I'm going to go ahead and hit end on that. And then it'll, it'll go back to what you were at before. Um, so that's that. But the Siri works uh, really, really well. Um, you can, um, again, you could, any function on your phone that uses voice to speech, like the, at least on an iPhone anyway, and I think Android as well, if it has the little microphone button next to where you would usually type something in, you could hit the microphone and it automatically switches over to listen through your car stereo's microphone um, to um, to hear what you're saying and then translate it to text. And it works fantastic. Even with road noise, I have very few problems uh, saying what I want it to send. I send text messages all completely through hands-free um, and that sort of thing. So I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I'll add it in. But... Uh, Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the in the comments.